Hey guys, uh, so with my channel's name being The Nerdy Kilt, I felt it would be uh, some benefit to explain why that is. And uh, if you watch some of the videos, you might have seen that I am wearing a kilt and that is my daily wear. Um, so why would you, why would somebody wear a kilt? Um, well, there's a lot of reasons. Some people like to wear it as a uniform. Some people use it as uh, to support their heritage. Some people use it as a costume. Um, like the Scottish Highland dancers, they would wear it for like sh for shows. I've had, a, I've had a lot of people actually ask me if I was, you know, coming from a dance, you know, after after leaving work, and I have to say like, no, this is just my everyday wear. Um, but an interesting thing about the uniform, people that wear wear it as a uniform they're usually much more stringent with how it's supposed to be worn, the kilt. Um, and with that, there's a lot of disapproval for people that don't wear it right. And I would imagine that between different um, clans and, and like the Scottish heritage, you're like, depending on what your clan is, um, there's there might be small subtle differences between how you're supposed to wear it, and then that might cause little issues. Um, which is kind of interesting, but for the most part, people that are used to wearing it for a uniform, uh, they'll use, um, they'll they'll be highly disapproving of many other uh, people that wear kilts, and I'm probably um, probably just one such offender. <laughs> I don't really wear it any specific way, um, and and they they just mean it in, in fun, like they're not super mad that. You're not wearing it properly. They just like to, to poke fun at you for not having the proper. You know, you don't have a spore in, or you know, you, you're not wearing your your clan tartan. It's 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 an interesting like dynamic altogether. So why might I wear the kilt? I like to wear it because uh, well, I, I got into it a little bit already, but I like to wear it because it's comfortable. Um, it's it's kind of nice to to be able to. I mean, it's, it's just something that it, it, it fits me, so I just keep doing it. Um, I also, like, I kind of started it to, in, like, started wearing the kilt to investigate um, a little bit of experiencing my heritage, but even that's a bit iffy, because I don't actually know um, what percentage of either Scottish or Irish I am. Uh, my grandpa would always like preach that we were Scottish. My grandma was like, no, 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 your grandpa's Irish. And uh, I'm leaning towards more Irish heritage, but th there's probably some overlap down the way. Um, but yeah, so initially I, I started wearing it because I was, I just wanted to try it out. And I've seen other people wear it and I thought it was kind of a, a look that would work for me. and. I think it is, um, and I, I'm comfortable in it, so, I mean, a lot of people ask me why I wear a kilt, and I find it a bit rude, but, you know, I humor them, but, it, I mean, it would be like going around asking, if I went and asked, like, oh, why are you wearing pants, like, like duh, I'm wearing pants because, pants? So, yeah, for me, it's kind of just a natural thing to do. It just feels right, you know. And, I mean, if anybody's been thinking about trying it, I mean, it's not, it's comfortable and it's it's not a big deal for the most part. I mean, you do get a, a few extra uh, visitors and uh, people who want to stop and talk to you, but for the most part, they just want to ask you what you're wearing under your kilt, and that's nothing bad, right? <laughs> I mean, okay, maybe, but yeah. So the there's also a question that people ask about how do you wear the kilt and how do you put it on, um, because it's not it's not your average everyday like skirt, right? It doesn't it's not like a full circle of fabric. It's more of a towel like thing that you that you wrap around you. So I'm gonna try and give you guys a little bit of a view of um, how I put mine on, but not like that. Just um. It just kind of wraps around you like a towel. And you start by buckling on the right hand side. Usually the buckles are here. This this side right here is called the under apron. 
and this is your apron. Uh, a lot of my kilts have buttons that hold everything in place. Uh, this one only has four, and they're under the belt here. Uh, but but with the with the straps, it's enough to hold everything in place, unless there's a high wind, and then all bets are off. Uh, I also like to wear a belt with it, um, but it's just more of a casual setup. As far as like the shoes that I wear with it, let's see if I can get these in here. So I just wear a nice dress shoe. Uh, otherwise, I wear some boots. Um, yeah, these were the the best shoes that I could find for it, but uh, I like the shoes, so <laughs> I think they work well. I do need to get some more, though. So of course there's uh, other ways to decorate your kilt, um, or I guess wear your kilt. There's what's called the, the sporan, which is basically just like a little pouch that hangs uh, over your crotch, and it just is a decorative pouch. Um, another part of the the, the more um, traditional uh, wardrobe is the socks that they're they're called. I believe they're called garters, and they fold down and they have two little like flags that kind of hang off the side. They're kind of interesting. You should look them up if you have the chance. Um, but the most interesting part about those socks is that. A part of the official um, wardrobe is a ski and do, which is a little knife that like sits in the sock. So there's a little hidden sock knife. So yeah, with that being said, I just wanted to take some time, do a little extra video today. Um, other than the 30 day challenge, it's getting kind of tired of doing something that I guess, I mean, it's fun to do, but today's no coffee challenge has proven to be boring. So I figured I would do another video as well, something with a little more content to it, something a little bit more exciting. Um, so far the, the challenge is going well, but anyways, let me know if you enjoyed having the extra video. Um, because this one is actually a lot more fun to make than um, some of the, the past ones. Like the, the Mike Boyd challenge yesterday was... Uh, editing it was terrible because there was so much footage to go through because I just recorded the whole thing just in case it happened to be that one time that I got it and it, it just went, but no, it didn't. So anyways, let me know if you liked the video. Um, see you in the next one, I guess.